Should we be scared of AI? I asked someone who studied it for 40 years. You know, it's funny because people say, oh, the AIs are going to take over everything, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I study a certain amount of history and I read these things that people wrote about AI in the early 1960s. And the thing that's really amusing about it is many of the paragraphs you could just lift out of the thing from 1962 and stick it in 2025 and it would fit. In other words, AI panic isn't new. We've been worrying about thinking machines or killer robots for decades. Even the AI from the 2001 film, A Space Odyssey, Hal, he didn't just talk, he listened, reasoned, even refused. I'm sorry, Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. It was pretty chilling. A machine that could lie and manipulate. And many think we're heading in that very direction. But Steven, he doesn't worry about any of it. To him, the risk isn't an attack from AI. It's AI entangling itself with us. We're its users, its source of data, the thing it learns from, and the thing it adapts to. Which means the most powerful system AI will ever influence is us. But one system you will necessarily connect the AI to is humans, because they're the users of the AI. And so, you know, the AI learns enough about humans that if the AI uh, sort of wants to convince the humans, hey, you should do this or that, that's something the AI will probably be pretty good at doing. That's the sort of flip side of having an AI that's good at tutoring people and teaching people and so on, is the AI can learn how to teach people stuff or how to get people to do stuff. So where does that leave us? Find out the answer in the latest episode of 1440 Explorers.